Hi, I'm Stu McKamey of the USDA Systematic Entomology Lab. Okay, and for the last thing I'm going to show you is about Delta Cephalini. Delta Cephalini is the largest subfamily with almost 7,000 species, and the first couplet in almost all cases of Delta Cephalini is in both Linivori, which you have as a PDF, and Omen's Nearctic leaf hoppers is whether or not the ideal connective is linear or Y-shaped. So in my linear example, uh, I thought I had brought, but apparently I didn't. So I'll just show you. This is the Y-shaped. Let me show you the parts, give you a little tour of the genitalia. These are the, uh, a little away from the shine. This is posterior here. This is anterior. So it's been pulled out of the glass, out of the pigifer. You can see on both sides there's a style which typically has a hook. In uh, the Gallia key, this was forked. That was one of the characters that we we're looking at. The Ediagus is here, and it has a connective here. And this is a Y-shaped connective. The, in the linear connectives, these are really right next to each other. Not fused, but, but almost. This is an example of, I can also show you the, the difference between the genera Excoltanus and Texananus, uh, which have both been intercepted. This is Excoltanus, and you know that. Let me get a side, go work toward a side view. You don't have to see a complete side view. Well, you can see the EDAS. I the connective ends here at the base of the EDAS. In, in Texananus, there's a long, a strong extension below the, below the Ediagus. And the, well, and the other main character in Delta Cephaline keys is whether or not the Ediagus is articulated or fused to the connective. And this one and this is articulated. You can you can usually tell because there's there's uh, not a strong sclerotization. There, there's some clear uh, clear tissue between the EDAS and the connective. I mean, which you can. Sort of see the connection here, uh, right there. At least I can see it on my monitor. Um, there's little clear tissue there, which allows this to move, as opposed to this whole thing being strongly sclerotized, which would be fused. So between the the Y-shaped connective and and the uh, articulated or fused connective in Ediagus, those each one each one of those cleaves the subfamily in almost half. So if you see those two things, uh, there's a chart in uh, Nearctic leafhoppers, in Omen's Nearctic leafhoppers, that pl places all the genera in those things. So you can narrow down the genera just from that a lot. And that's it.